Good afternoon. It has been a while as many of you are affected by it. I have not done many videos due to the coronavirus and the restrictions we have here in South Korea. So I thought I would do one that I can do from my house and that is what this is all about behind me. Recycling and garbage. I had to YouTube when I got here how to do it. I never in a million years thought I would struggle with how to take my trash out. So needless to say, today we're going to take you along while we recycle and um, I will show you how to do garbage. So everybody does it differently. In our apartment, we have this um, kimchi freezer that we don't use. So I just use the top of it and that's where all the recycling goes. Um, we just throw everything there. Every place is different. So some apartments you can only recycle once a week and that is what ours is. So it just has to sit here until our recycling day and then we can take it out. And then other places you have recycling and trash bins on the main road and you can take them out whenever you want, which is nice. I We did used to live in an area like that and so we never had things that just stacked up like this for a week. But anyways, it's easier for me. I just sort it all out here by the recycling and then I take it down when it's all done. Okay, so what I do is, it's it's not different, it's just you kind of have to figure out what your specific area wants, how they want you to separate it. So, like when we lived over in SOD, we didn't have to recycle the same that we do here. And so in this apartment complex, they want us to recycle out um, like plastics and things like this in a separate container. So like all of the bag, all of your Ziploc bags, all your shopping bags, all of your, um, the cereal clear plastic bags, anything like that goes in one big plastic container. So we're gonna separate that out. Paper and cardboard go together in one area and then you have cans like your aluminum cans, like SpaghettiO cans, and then your soda cans, and then glass goes in a separate container. Plastic is what gets me, guys. I'm not gonna lie. We've been here for over a year, and I still get yelled at by the security guys because I don't, I don't separate it the way they're supposed to. In my defense, they are not. They, we don't have English um, <laughs> signs above the bins, so it's just a guessing game. I try to follow the people in front of me. Anyways, it never seems to work out. But yes, we have three different bags for plastics. And so I try to guess up here what goes in what bin and then downstairs we'll throw it in. So let's get sorting. Okay, so it's, it's tedious, but I got it kind of done. We've got all of my shopping bags with different things in it and then Usually I get one big box in the mail and that's usually what I use to put all of my cardboard in but because of this restriction and quarantine stuff, surprisingly I haven't ordered as much as I usually do so we don't have any big boxes sadly. So now this week my cardboard just has to willy nilly its way down to the recycling. But let's get it loaded up. Um, my wagon is my recycling carrier so we get it all loaded up into the wagon and then we'll take it downstairs okay so before we get doing our recycling we wanted to show you what trash bags you needed to use out in town we use this one to... <laughs> here it's a little windy today <laughs> okay so these little orange ones or brown ones or whatever color people call them this is for your food waste so it's essentially a compost bag um we keep it in the freezer so we have a bin that we got from the px and we put it in the bin in the freezer and then when it gets full then i will um take it out here to the trash but this is what your food goes in hold that one up all right and then that one this one's a 50 liter bag but you have to get so we live in pyongtech so you got to make sure that at the bottom it doesn't the commissary and your local grocery stores out in town will have the right bags because they're going to sell it for that specific city but that's a 50 liter bag and that fits into a regular size American trash can. If you get too small, then it doesn't fit. Come here, let's show them where they go. <laughs> All right, so your, um, if you live in an apartment complex, then your trash goes in the big bin. Ooh, don't touch it. Yeah. It goes in the big bin. And then show them where the food bins go. 
Yes. Okay. So no matter out of everywhere I've been and I've seen these um, American size trash cans is where your food compost go. And trash. And the big trash bags go in there or they go in these like, um, oh gosh, what did they go to in the other one? I think they're wicker basket. They're like metal baskets. So that's where they go. And you can throw those out anytime in the evenings. You're not supposed to take trash out during the day. This complex is really chill with that, so we do it often. But let me show you how things go here. So at this complex, you have cans. Behind that is your glass bottles. And then in this big area here is where you throw all of your cardboard. And then this is where it gets tricky, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So the bags and stuff go in the first bin. Well, first two bags, and then your styrofoam goes in the last one. And then, oh, here we go, the dreaded plastic. So they call it pet bottles. So at the, on the bottom side of the bottles, you'll see it'll say PET on the bottom. Those go in those ones. And then these two, I have no idea. All of my other plastic usually go between those two bags. So I can't really, I can't really help because like I said, it's all in Korean, so I've got no idea. But yep, you just throw it all down here and you're good to go. Leave any, if you're looking for any other videos because you can't find them, leave them in the comments below and I will try and do a video on some basic things if you can't find them on YouTube. Anyways, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully I've got some new videos. Hopefully restrictions will be lifted soon so we can go back off base again and explore more Korea before we leave. Thanks for stopping by my channel.